So in today's video, we are going to create our first AI call assistant and this is going to be the most basic and the most simplest tutorial that you have seen so far in which you will not just be able to create your first AI call assistant but how it is going to work is we are going to create an account on Vapi first then we are going to integrate Vapi with Twilio so we can make the live calls on any phone number anywhere in the world and after that we are going to integrate the whole of the process and automate it on make.com so whatever the data we have fetched let's suppose the name or the location of the person that is added as a row in Google Sheet so if you are new into the AI call assistant niche this is a must to watch video because this is the syntax on top of that there are the endless possibilities so once you have made this you can create any kind of AI call assistant with all kind of functionalities and even if you do not have any knowledge of AI call assistants or you do not know any sort of codings you can still create your first AI call assistant after watching this tutorial so watch it till the end and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel I would highly appreciate that you do okay so first you have to create an account on Mappy you will get $10 free balance you are on the assistant section of the Mappy there is an option of create an assistant there are multiple options you can have an appointment setter you can have a customer support agent we will go for the blank template right now and let's suppose we name it so you have to click on create an assistant and it will be created i had already created the assistant so i will just help you go through it we have got an option of choosing a model that i do usually prefer this gpt 40 mini cluster the ideal latency is around 900 to 1250 and here's the costing and you can see what is consuming how much and then the reason of latency are mentioned over here and if you talk about the temperature that means how much it should stick to the topic i usually prefer to go for 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 there is an option of transcriber over here if you click it then you have got the option of provider language and the model so you have to click on phone call model because we are going to make the calls and this is ideal for that purpose and then there's an option of voice so you have got plenty of providers usually i go for the 11 labs and 11 labs has multiple options even you can add the custom voice over here as well and you can even clone the voice and then there are several models that you can choose from then you can also add the background music now you will go to the advanced section and there there are the option of client message and the server messages and this is important because here you have to choose function call you have to choose hang this giving the AI assistant ability to hang the call when it is required and then you have to choose tool calls and tool calls results the same things you have to choose in the server message as well then you have got the option of phone numbers that we will go through afterwards then we have the option of the tools we will talk about tools and create one few minutes and there is option of the call logs and you can trace all of your calls and you can just see the transcript of each of the call and also you can find the billings and the setting the API keys when you click on this so we are done with the Vapi for now and now we are on the second step where you have to create an account on Twilio Twilio is basically a platform from where you can buy the number from that number you can call anywhere in the world if you go to the develop section and then there's an option of manage and you go to active numbers this is the number that I have bought but for you if this is a new account you have to go to buy a number here you will see there are multiple options you can choose the country and the capabilities that you want to have with this number monthly fee for each of the number is around 1.15 dollars so now as we have created an account on Vapi and we have bought a number on Twilio so what we have to do is integrate Vapi with Twilio to integrate Twilio with Vapi we need to fetch the API key when you are on the dashboard simply go to the search bar and search for API and then there's an option of API key you have to click it and from here you can generate your API key by clicking at this button so now you can copy the API key from here also you must know that you can get the authentication token from here as well so now we are on Vapi at the section of phone numbers here there's an option of import there is an option of Twilio you will add the number that we just bought from the Twilio and then you have to add the Twilio account SID Twilio account authentication token and you can just label it and then you just have to click import from Twilio and it will be imported so after this guys our Vapi is integrated with the Twilio 
But what we are going to do, we are going to test it. If you go to the phone number section again, there's an option of outbound form. So you have to add the number. Now you have to choose the assistant. You have to click on the button outbound call. Now, now guys, you can see that I am receiving the call from the very same number that we bought from Twilio. So now we are done with integrating Twilio with the Vapi. And we are now able to make the calls. Hello, this is Ava. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Eva? I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. May I kindly ask for your name, please? Yeah, my name is Zainul Abidin. Thank you for sharing. It's a pleasure connecting with you. Okay. Thank you. Guys, I would guys I would tell you something that we had asked to get the two information. One was the name of the person, and the second was the location of the person. So now what's happening? It's calling the person, and it is following the script that we have told her right but we want some result out of it and what that result could be we want that particular information let's suppose the name and the location of that person somewhere on some crm and the most basic of the crm is the google sheets for that what we have to do is we have to integrate this setup that we have just created with make.com so that whenever this part is triggered those information will go to google sheet so how we are going to do that for now you have to create an account on make.com so the web is created twilio is created both are integrated now you have to create an account on make.com so you go there you sign up and after that there is an option of scenarios all scenarios there is an option of create a new scenario so now when you will create a new scenario there will be an option of creating your first module and then you can attach further modules with it i have already made the two modules number one is the webhook and the number two is the google sheets now what webhook is let's suppose on the call when the user say the certain information that is required or when certain tool is triggered the information will come to this webhook that can be utilized further either in google sheet google calendar or anywhere like that so what you have to do is you have to add a new webhook and when you will save it something like this will be generated you just have to copy it and then you have to paste this in the tool of webhook so now we are going to create our first tool so we will choose make.com for now and there is an option of server url here you have to paste what we just copied then what you have to do is click the next button and you have to add the property first property is the name that we require the second property is the location that we want from the person so now you have to give name to this tool and this is important guys because this is how the ai is going to read it it's just like you are giving command to a chat gpt and you are telling it what it has to do purpose of this tool is to get the name and the location of the client so now when you will go to the function section you will see that there's an option of tools so now you have to choose the tool we just created now if we go through the script of the ai assistant you can see that it has to ask for the name first and then it has to ask that okay where are you from uh, it has to be thankful and as you can see we have told it that once you have got the location and the name of the caller then you have to run this basic info tool that we just created and this is really important because uh, once this tool will run our webhook on make.com will get the information of the name and the location of the person and by the way you can get all of this script in my description you don't have to write it from the scratch so guys we are almost near to the completion now you have to create a google sheet two headers one with the name and one with the location so now we have created these two modules one with the webhook another with the google sheet add row option then from there you have to choose the spreadsheet and you have to choose the the sheet name and then you have to tell it that yeah it has the headers and the headers will be fetched over here like we created two headers one with the name option and another with the location option okay guys so i am going to tell you how the name that you're telling on the call and the location that you're telling on the call is going to get into the name section and the location section this is the information that is fetched from the webhook and your webhooks will be empty in the start how you are going to get this data i am going to tell you right now the information is triggered from the webhook it's coming to the webhook via tool from there it's going to the google sheet how it is happening is in webhook we have integrated a tool and when that part of the call comes where the caller has told about the name has told about the location then that tool has triggered and the information from that tool 
comes to this webhook and from this webhook goes to the google sheet so this is how the whole thing is working so now to get the data to the webhook we have to make one call we also have to run the scenario before initiating the call okay guys so now we are going to perform the live call right now so we will go to the phone number section we are going to choose the assistant over here then we are going to initiate the call hello I'm good, how are you? I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. I'm here to assist you. May I kindly ask for your name, please? Yeah, my name is Zainul Abidin. Thank you. It's lovely to meet you. May I also ask where you are from? Me, I am from Pakistan. Just a sec. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing. It's a pleasure connecting with you. So guys, you have just uh, seen that as we had told the, our AI assistant that when you have got the information about the name and about the location of the person you have to run the basic info tool the basic info tool is the one that we uh, created over here we got the name and the location information on our google sheet so this is guys the very basic syntax you can say the blueprint you can say that we have just created the possibilities are endless you can attach the go high level with it you can attach any CRM with this AI call assistant and it will fetch any information that you want. It will read those information. It can do whatever you can imagine right now in your mind, what a real human can do or perform the actions. I hope so guys, you like the video and uh, like this, I will be bringing more of such helpful tutorials for you guys. If you have liked the video, I would highly appreciate that you subscribe to my channel. See you guys till the next video. Take care. No, I ain't the type to give up If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want I turn a business out of nothing into something I love I got a poker face